students also don't lose their academic year. So last year there were some arrangements of open book examinations, online examinations okay. were made. But this year we are going to have control of examination will give you and the kind of problems that we have been facing because of that. But we are going to have it offline. That's what. <coughs> and uh, we are having the online components of multiple choice questions. Yeah, multiple, multiple choice so questions. How, how will you do the cheatings and the bad practices? Because, uh, but no, no, the, the, the pattern is different. Uh, different types of questions. Though uh, students are sitting in the same room and you can watch. Yes, yeah. CCTV. You can monitor. The it has to be proper examination. So that is there. It has to be proper examination. And we are not going to have proper examination centers in all the study centers. Only in selected, selected centers few, which are having the Select section. few where that all arrangements are made for fair and uh, this thing at that time. Fair contact of the examination. Yeah. So one yeah. uh, Do we have the flexibility of allowing the students who are pursuing some regular course? Yes. Uh, undertaking and undergoing this course from open university. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Parallel. Yes. Parallel. As per UGC. And okay. they can have no two degree programs, okay. but they can they opt for one certificate. Okay. One degree. Ah, one degree. Okay. One degree. One degree. One degree. Okay. All right, sir? Okay, all right. Yes. So, research innovations extension. Uh, we are publishing a journal of open learning and research communication. And mostly our researches are. Uh, systemic research about the ODL component and the faculty members are having researches in their own respective academic expertise also. And the research methodology course is there in several programs. Uh, research projects are carried out by the faculty members. We have submitted the particulars. UNICEF, SEMCA, Assam State Digest Management Authority, UNESCO also. And uh, we are having a well-defined research policy for professional research. Though we are an open university, we are awarding PhD degree. There was some problems uh, uh, in the, till, I suppose, 2015. There was some problem. After 2015, the UGC allowed us to offer MPhil PhD program on regular mode. And since then, we have been offering that program. That, 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 yeah. that, yeah. that has to be on regular mode. Regular PhD is on regular mode. First 21 is removed. Yeah. 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 So <coughs> next year, next year, yes, yes. But yeah. So well defined research community, minor research projects are there. That has to be regular mode. Oh, only MP PhD. Okay. okay. Only MP PhD. So post work instructions of distance uh, education council. Yeah, a uh, distance education bureau. The yeah. of, of UGC. Of UGC. Earlier that was distance education. Because we were also doing this uh, correspondence and open education and course, but oh. it was closed. Okay. On the directions of the uh, distance education. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So we are having some uh, this uh, PhD degree, then uh, regulations are uh, more or less academic integrity panel. Our librarian will brief you. And uh, that's what we are trying to be strong mm -hmm. enough. Collaborative activities, we are having collaborations with NSOU, Paul, SEMPA, Asian Association of Open Universities. In fact, this vision document, which was prepared in 2015, as a follow-up of this, we borrow the Equality Assurance Framework of Asian Association of Open Universities. And that part I'm going to show as part of our visionary, the way we are trying to visualize ourselves. And this uh, vision document, outlined some strategic action areas, and this was basically in consultation with this the framework of Asian Association of Open Universities. Then NIRD, PR, and National Institute of Rural Development Project, these are quite close by our, to our university. There has been a collaboration with them also. How many countries are the members? Uh, Asian Association of Open Universities will be about 10, 12? More than 15. More than 15, yeah. There are 18 Asia Pacific countries normally that align with. So, more than 15 we have. Innovations, learner mentoring system. And, uh, that's uh, because of the COVID, we learned this lesson. Our faculty members are mentoring the learners. Learner Starter 2020, single window student demands reduce sale, online ticket is issued, yeah. online follow-up, online information, mobile alert. Uh, online complex handling system, keyword, 
So T wall is basically a web digital repository and in our website, because we are having, uh, because Assam is having an advantage of T, so yeah. T wall is basically in fact we designed to offer a MOOC on all about T. The MOOC was supposed to be on all about T. So keeping that in view, that an IS officer also would like to know about T. ASP general also may like to know about T. Yes. So in order to apprise them all about T in an the kind of MOOC we plan. But uh, we move back, the COVID also emerged, but the repository that was developed in the process and some videos were also developed. So all those things we have put in this T wall. So it's basically all about T. It's targeted to any person on the street. Even an enlightened person and highly educated person also can get benefit from the tea wall. And anyone, the only thing is that it is put in English. MOOC we are going to launch. MOOC we are going to launch on all about tea. And to that, keeping that in view, we prepared all these things, but somehow because of the COVID, etc., but it's still on our plan. We are going to do it. But you can have a look at your laser time. And you can apply yourself, educate yourself about the tea. Assam tea. And the tea wall in our website only you will be able to find it. Tea wall. Yeah, we, work, we work on Assam tea also. Yeah. Like you would definitely be able to get. Do you have any examination or No, no, no. We have, no, no. <laughs> yes. No, no. Uh, something else. We are having a certificate course. You have a certificate You have a certificate course. We have a certificate <laughs> On the tea? On tea. On tea. Okay. On small tea plantation. Okay, okay. All right. So T wall mobile application, then 360 degree feedback mechanism. In fact, we boast uh, ourselves that after the, this UGC regulation 2017, we had the system of Center for Internet Quality Assurance, and SICA developed an action plan to have feedback from all the stakeholders. Though we are claiming it to be to 360 degree mechanism feedback. But in one of our academic forum, it was pointed out that you cannot fully claim it's 360 it because you have restricted to feedback mechanism. Yes, or it's also feedback. performance appraisal. Uh, it, uh, it involves the performance, not performance, basically the satisfaction of the employees. That is the feedback collected, and that performance feedback is an administrative mechanism. But from SICA, only two, three, although we are claiming it 360, that parents' feedback and employers' feedback. Okay. This we have not taken so far because our learner profile is different. Some of the learners, they themselves are parents. And employers feedback that because 15% of our learners are employed. So those two we are planning in this year, SICA action plan. Then possibly, but at the same time, it's a continual exercise, you will have to keep on doing it. Then extension activities, we are having five, uh, the, the gamusas which were given to you at the, at the time of uh, your yeah, arrival, that was uh, woven by the weavers of our adopted village. Oh, okay. We are having five village adopted yeah. and we are having some schedule scope also in the schedule yeah. tomorrow. Yes. That if you are, yeah. We are visiting. Yeah. yeah. So then adopted villages, then relief activities, livelihood skill training, socio cultural initiative, industrial center music. These are defined activities we are doing. But most in all uh, adopted villages? Uh, yes, in all adopted villages. And in fact, we are having some training programs from the participants or from the adopted okay. villages only. Two programs last year we organized. One was on computer training, the other one was on electrical, electrical fittings, weddings, etc. That is also female. Okay. Female. 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 But here I would like to give you a glimpse of this one. Yes. Video. This is not the mouse is not moving. Okay, okay. No, sir, this is a two minute video. You should watch, sir. This is a major activity of our university. We would like to project it. <laughs> Children are the future of the nation. The mental and physical health of a child guarantees the strength of the nation in days to come. Well developed children literature introduces a sense of satisfaction and allows us to visualize the prosperity of the region. Children 
literature up to the year 2008. In this process of preservation, the university has produced 41 volumes of Asmi's children literature, each comprising around 1000 pages under the title of Unkifu Hayutagoha. The university has been able to collect and include around 2000 books from different parts of the state. State of the University, under its philosophy of social responsibility, strongly believes that it may take measures to preserve and promote children's literature or religion for the future generations. <coughs> Most of the prominent Asmist writers, including the great Vaishnava saint Okoreva, has contributed substantially to inspire imagination in these young and nascent minds. Even today, we find stories created in the world of pre vaishnava and Vaishnava era of the medieval times are admired by children of all sections of the society. It is expected that the future generation, including the researchers and leaders, will be greatly benefited from this treasure house of children literature within Nazareth. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And this receives the government patronage also. Likes, likes, nahi aaya aapke so YouTube pe. You have to like all likes. So consider all these eighty likes are there. So you have to like all the eighty likes. Eighty likes. Yes, yes, very good. Yes, sir. 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 So it includes parts of Ramayana and Mahabharata? No, all the entire Pompidia law. Indian history that they are so much. Some is children. 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 Okay. So this city of is ongoing construction, but as I told you at the beginning, maybe by... Okay, we have seen that. Yeah, all this. We are going to see. Yeah, and all this. Then this also you'll be able to see all while moving yes, there, all okay. the scantiest leaves, etc. Okay, here I'd like to brief the honorable members about this. Uh, before this, we were functioning from, in fact, in the SSR initially we submitted from, we are operating from two campuses. One says set of rented buildings in the house bed area in Guwahati only. That would be about four or five kilometers from this place. Then we made a shift here in 2020, and at the time of submission of SSR, we submitted the particulars from this program, you know, the geotech photos. But we are having a permanent campus in Rani, a place, and that's what we are making the schedule also for your visit, then you'll be able to see. In this campus, we have not, we were functioning, that was our headquarter, till last year. Now that because of the operational advantages and all this, we have been functioning from here, but we have some big plan for this campus. Because the government of Assam has allotted us 62 bigas of land here in this area. We are having some functional offices there, the PC's office is there, registrar's office there. Plus, we are going to have the skill development center fully functional. And this is a forest area, so there are lots of uh, problems in construction. So, we are going to make it an agricultural hub. It's an integrated project, is there. And that's how, and then you'll be able to see for yourself about the running campus. Then, as I told you, we are having only one design center, that is in Zohar. And this is also operating from rented premises as of now. But in Zohar also, the university has its own land of own land of one villa, one katha, and 13 lesha. Okay. And uh, the building plans are ready. After this, we'll be taking some projects in development of that Zohar. And not only this one, we are having plans to develop four more design centers. Government of Assam has allotted us two plots of land in Bongaiga. One is in North Lokhimpur districts. One in uh, Southern Assam, we are going to establish one regional center so that we can develop a regional center network. Okay. Yes. All right. So, basic challenge as you all know, how can we establish the integration between academic support and non academic support? We have seen already. Yeah. yeah. Governance, management, leadership in criteria 6. Board of Management, Finance Committee, SICA Committee, Academic Council, School of Studies, Planning and Development Committee basic essence. In addition to this, we are having the other committees also. Yeah, sorry. 
uh, Pulses Committee, Tendal Committee, Research Council, mm -hmm. Electoral like Committee, and regularly all the meetings of all these committees are held. Yeah. And, uh, that is the important thing that we have highlighted in the number of board meetings, number of academic councils mm -hmm. meetings. Mm -hmm. Regularly, once in a quarter, normally we try to have the meetings of all the committees. Policies, criteria six, we are having this point policies, performance of present policy, code of ethics, consultancy policy, OER policy, some of the policies are highly functional, some of the policies we have not been able to make much safe go, but that's in our agenda. Financial aspects, uh, for the benefit of information of the honorable members, in the NAC SSR, we were asked to submit particulars of one preceding year, because the year, last year was 2019-20, the preceding year was 2018-19. So we submitted this particular, and this is indicative. The expenditure in 2018-19, academic expenses was 56%, administrative expenses was 44%. This increased slightly, 2018-19. 19-20, it will be more, because of the ongoing construction activities. This year and the next financial year also it will be more, but after that we will be able to stabilize it, after the construction of this. But the important part is, academic expenses still we have been able to spend more than 50%. And out of the receipt part, fees constitute about 72% of our revenue. Then grants in aid, that is a developmental grant from government of Assam is 2%. Salary component being bought by the government, government of Assam, that's about 18%. And other income, fixed deposit and some other revenue, all these things, we got about. The plan eight. and non-plan on the Yes, aid. yes. Okay. So this is a, an indicative uh, uh, picture of the financial health of the university. Strategic plan and development, so that physical facilities, ration number, the amount of this, uh, you have already seen it, revision of fee, increase in enrollment, revenue and investment, the future plans. Purpose fund we have created in order to ensure financial stability. These aspects we have been taking care of. Best practices, in fact, we have shown this because NAC insisted to show three best practices. We opted for this, responsiveness towards learners. So we uh, supported our claims in terms of these aspects, accountability, regular meeting of statutory bodies, as I have just now stated, transparency, monitoring and evaluation, online admission, online this, reverse digital, ticketing issue, and uh, information are made available in public domain. These are the so out of these three, yes. can you name any one which is not there in any other university? That distinctiveness part we are going to address us separately. That, uh, no, that. But these are all there. Always. Yes. A, a uniqueness of the university, which is not uh, a regular practice. It's not a Yes. E-mentoring is there. That is, that is what e-mentoring e that uh, uh, nowadays has become a part of this thing, a part of uh, a particular department, the mentor mentee system has become a part. Yes. So this being a ODL system, mm -hmm. uh, 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 according to me there are many opportunities uh, just by taking that, uh, reaching the unreach. So you could have got cut out mm -hmm. by any <coughs> And the best example of yes. this thing mm -hmm. uh, to show oh, as a show piece. Yes. Uh, this is uh, the identity of uh, our university mm -hmm. would have added value to it. Yes. Uh, according to yes. Thank you. Thank you. So distinctiveness, right? <laughs> our distinctiveness, modern infrastructure. That's how in NAP also, because when in 2020, we became confident that we'll be able to come up with this modern infrastructure by 21-22. And uh, this is, uh, we presented as a distinctive feature of our penetration into remote areas, as the chairperson just now stated, is a one distinctive area. E-governance, e-office is there, and all this. ICT-based support, social responsibility, like Okomiya Hiku Hahitoko. So that uh, ISA. Yeah. Yes. Name two ISR. Which one, sir? ISR? Social responsibility. Social, yeah, institute. We talk about social responsibility from a corporate right. sector and other this thing. Right. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you are, as a institution, what are your responsibilities towards that uh, uh, society, this thing? 
first one is sir as stated in the vision and mission we have to be socially responsible we have to reach the unreach spreading education no, that, that, that is why that this university is established yes mm. that is a generating one okay that is a generating one mm. my question is what is the again the distinctiveness of being a responsible institution in that meeting the needs of the society uniqueness i am asking it is there that all responsibilities are there this thing as a institution yeah free free education to z inmates suppose sir one distinctive feature because the other university other institutions cannot make an entry into the jails our university jail jail central jail on the central jail you know for that matter you take all your 15 open universities they conduct exams in jail yes yeah <laughs> that is yeah all open universities they conduct exams in jails yeah. and all these things yours being a uh, only university in the state open uh, <coughs> Just learning this thing, uh, so you have ample opportunity. Uh, you are yeah, all, all are youngsters. Mm -hmm. Just a, a piece of advice. Mm -hmm. All are youngsters. They are in their thirties and forties. Uh, <coughs> you have many advantages uh, to exhibit your exemplary knowledge. What otherwise that uh, today higher education should stand for innovation and excellence. Mm -hmm. Give a task. Like any industry gives task, uh, like that uh, uh, grievance redressal, uh, uh, and then uh, uh, suggestion box, like that you give such this thing to your uh, colleagues, mm -hmm. youngsters, that you suggest that uh, innovative this thing, let them study that uh, national education policy in total, mm -hmm. all 486 pages, mm -hmm. and also the 64 that we will pages. and cut out something what is that uh, otherwise that relevant to this distance mode mm. <coughs> apply as a unique that uh, way of that reaching the unreach yes. would definitely fetch you a very good dividend and yes so i can say one art now next cycle mm. that uh, your university is going to be uh, a far excellent university i can add please we can reach out to the orphans Yeah. yeah, I mean, we, you can select that uh, constituency. Mm. Yes, yes. No, so mm. that would be a distinctive feature. Yes. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, uh, so uh, this already we have submitted in the. Uh, yes, you have yes. yourself been able to uh, what would be our stance, what would be our, the chairman has in fact stated about the opportunities, emerging opportunities. So uh, these are the things. in fact we have submitted all these particular in our ssr also so can yeah, please okay. go ahead yeah so we way forward uh you have another 5 minutes yeah okay no, no. uh meeting challenges of nep skill based vocational agriculture no no all this no no nep has not that posed any challenges to anybody mm -hmm. it is it is uh, uh, very light but at the same time tight Hmm. <laughs> 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 that very very simple. It is a friendly uh, that gesture, not okay. challenge. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, so regional center network yes. automation in all processes. These are our future. That yes. is that. And this time bound road map. Uh, honorable information, honorable members. As I have been telling it, 2015, and we are being guided by this. And uh, we. Uh, sort of help of Asian Association of Open Universities, NAC manual, and a toolkit developed by SAMCA, Commonwealth Educational Media Center for Asia. Based on these three, we have prepared, and uh, because in our uh, last to last meeting of board of management, it was decided that we should have a strategic review of our vision document and all these things. In our last meeting of SICA committee also, we discussed a uh, strategic action plan. Just like to uh, uh, the honourable members, please. Okay. Uh, uh, this is how we are going to see ourselves in the coming. Although you may ask that, how would you see yourself for the coming next ten years? But we have not been able to make it up to next ten years. But still, 2026. 
we have been uh, we have drawn an action agenda based on these three frameworks. And the chairman sir wanted us that what is your vision of the university. So this is what we would like to see ourselves. And these are tangible tangible things. And this is quite comprehensive. And you can see. Yeah. This is a uniqueness. Yeah. Yeah. Please, yeah. Please, yeah. We can see. Yeah. Yes. Please have a look at this at your level. But the basic outcome, the tangible outcome of this entire exercise is how we time bound roadmap. That 2021, we want to create a model study center for all the study centers. In our this city campus, you will be able to see it's, uh, no. the thing in eighth floor of this building. 2022, we are having this fully functional modern uh, infrastructure. Then auditorium and seminar hall, we are trying to have it in a phase manner, 2024. 2025, and we are having the Rani campus agriculture hub. Then in the Rani campus staff quarters, because there is an embargo on construction of big buildings. So we are going to make some environment friendly quarters there. And uh, automation is a continuous process, but full, uh, full uh, automation of the examination process, because we are getting lakhs of learners, thousands of learners. So going by all these things, if we can adopt a mechanism like, say, Joshua Rao Sabon of University of Maharashtra, they conduct examinations, lakhs of students, and declare the results within a month, because profile of our learners are different. So we are striving for that, and this is how we would like to see ourselves in future. So we are having this kind of recognition, and then for the information of the members, in 2013, we got this prestigious award of okay. Commonwealth of Learning, Award of Excellence okay. for Institutional Achievement in Distance Education. Mm -hmm. And only two of them, one is the famous Babasan Open University of Malaysia, and our uh, small, so-called small university, but trying to be big, trying to have a very big presence, strong presence. Right. That's what we are trying to do, and net accreditation, maybe we are looking forward, hope we'll be able to march ahead, trade ahead, okay. and on the part of excellence, with this, I would like to thank you, all the members. Thank you very much. So if you align that to your uh, vision document, yes, I call it as a vision document, along with the SDG, yes. sustainable development, yes, yes, that is there, sir. I think that goes to the national education policy as well. This and uh, you are not touched upon that the GIA. GIA is there. GIA should be, be the focal uh, yes. point of... That is an advantage. Our season... That is the main uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, This part... Uh, I might get a very good presentation. Yes, sir. Thank yes. you so much. Very